Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. My name is Bear. Let's do the daily. How's that sound? Sounds like fun. Blue baby. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. All right. I'm okay with that. I can accept this. I can accept my fate as far as this, cause this is concerned. My first post-Christmas 2015 Isaac Daily run. We get ourselves a blue baby. How y'all doing? Good to have you. Good to see you again. My apologies for the uh, conspicuous absence of me <laughs> over the course of the past few weeks. It's uh, something I am going to try to continue to remedy, but... Hope y'all had a good Christmas all the same. I have no idea what just happened with the Dead Sea Scrolls, and I am sort of just wasting all of my time here in the first few rooms. It's going really, really well. Something that I, uh, something that I wanted to point out that I thought was really cool about Christmas this year for me. Uh, as I have gotten older, I have very quickly, I think, realized the significance of food-related gift items to me. <laughs> because I I don't know, man, I really like food, apparently. So, that has been, like, the most exciting stuff that I've been able to get this year. I went and had, we went and had a, uh... Christmas breakfast with my brother and his girlfriend and that alone that's like that's all I need you can give me some fruit and whipped cream on some pancakes man you call that a festive yuletide holiday I'll be none the wiser also my uh, my mother happened to give me a bread dipping set which is the most excited I've ever been about an adult item bar none because boy do I love bread because I am a simple man with simple needs. Speaking of simple needs, this run is going okay so far. Minute and a half in, we got a Squeezy and the Dead Sea Scrolls, which sort of provided me, I think, with a little bit of false positive hope. Because now I'm remembering that these tiers are not nearly as powerful as I once thought they were, but... Squeezy's pretty good. It's not a bad start. Dead Sea Scrolls are certainly better than the poop as far as the spacebar items are concerned, so we'll definitely stick with that for now. And I love... To come across another bomb pretty soon here. Let's see that. Yeah, let me know, uh, let me know what y'all got for Christmas, huh? Or if you don't celebrate, let me know what you did instead. As I, uh, well, I imagine this is maybe, I don't know if this could be, uh, measured as a fault of ignorance against me, but I, I wonder if people that don't celebrate Christmas just sort of like, or don't celebrate anything for that matter on the holiday or on the day itself, uh, just sort of like do things in spite of the fact that it's Christmas, right? Like, for example, driving through downtown Seattle, we didn't really see that many people around. So I was starting to think, like, this would be a great time if you ever wanted to maybe tour a city in your car. That'd be a great day to do it. Even if you do celebrate the holiday, it's a really good idea. I'm gonna go ahead and pass this little tip of knowledge down to you because there are no people anywhere. It's like a ghost town. It's basically like you're in the movie I Am Legend. You are Will Smith on, on Christmas Day in downtown. Because, man, just emptiness. Like three or four cars on the road with you at any time. So maybe not quite like the sense of loneliness that I am embodying here, but close to it. There's our key finally. Let's go, uh, let's go grab our item room. Yeah, I probably want to make the trip back. And I'm also, well, definitely going to do this, first of all. Thinking I probably am going to go ahead and try this out. Totally not worth it unless that's a guppy item. Okay, that's a little bit of health. So maybe it ended up being a net gain. Let's think a little bit more positively. Got another bomb out of it too. Look at this! It's going extraordinarily well, right? Blue Baby I have struggled with mightily. There's something about this character. I think I just... I play a little bit less uh, cautiously than I think I ought to in a lot of circumstances. I tend to go unabrash it into my foes. Oh my god, enough with this nonsense. Well, you know, okay, we'll take it, we'll take it. An acceptable outcome. Let's go fight our boss. It's been a long time since I've done a daily, man, and I think the, uh, I think the afterbirth learning curve might be leaving me a bit too far behind now. That's w sort of what I'm worried about, too. Uh, we grabbed, uh, well, we got a pill from that. I'm not really exactly sure what the hell that was, but... Oh, unfortunately, this is gonna be, yeah, this is gonna be a tough fight. Wow. Oh, this is gonna be a tough fight. Jesus, yeah, please. Oh, God, I don't like this at all. I don't like this. It's like extreme claustrophobia. 
Okay. <laughs> oh my god. That made me, like, physically uncomfortable, those two little haunts in this room. I need more space to operate, please. You can't box me in like that. You got these spikes all over here, these little boulders freaking me out. Give me a little more room haunt, please. Okay. This is, this is the pattern, I think. I'd rather not, well, especially now that it takes away my ability to do the cheesy haunt strats with this room pattern. I don't think I've ever actually fought the haunt in this room. Maybe that's what's giving me such, such a big problem. All the same, he is down. We do indeed get to deal with the devil, which is nice. And the Mr. Dolly pickup is pretty damn good, too. Happy with that. Uh, and that is new to me. A fame. What does that do? Yeah, this is that afterbirth learning curve I was talking about. Probably 85% of people know what this does at this point, but I, I am left in the dark. Uh, I think we just go down. Yeah, there's a battery back there, but it's totally not worth, worth the expenditure of time. Here we go, XL floor, okay. I'm gonna turn this run around here. I'm gonna figure out what a, a Thane does. Knowing me, that's probably pronounced like, Atame. Atame! That's a cool superhero name, Atame, it's like Atomic. That would be my superhero name. I think I'm a little bit too into superheroes lately, too. I've been watching a lot of One Punch Man. If you haven't seen that. Well, I don't know, honestly, how to recommend it, because I've been thinking about this, too. I've been trying to recommend it to people who I don't think would normally watch anime. And I don't think I would normally watch anime, which is why I think that's particularly interesting. I've almost been recommending the show and sort of just ignoring the fact that it's anime and hoping that the people I recommend it to will just watch it based purely off of my recommendation. <laughs> but it's really, really good! It's super entertaining, you should watch it. This is, uh, this is where I catch up with you guys on all the things I've been doing. <laughs> They're not that many, let me tell you. Only mildly interesting. This is a good show, though. Makes me want to be a superhero. That's that's more to the point of what I'm talking about. Makes me want to blow away bad guys, which is probably the aim of it. Maybe I'm really just a pure kid at heart because I'm starting to like re rethink my life goals in terms of well, what would what would kid me want to do? Apparently, I just realized, uh, what Apartheid does. No, that's not what that item is called. That's a totally different thing. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just sneak on in here. And then just go like that! Yeah, there's no way. There's absolutely no way that's happening. Nope. Boo. Bad room. Boo. Naughty. Ick. What was that thing called? Aspartame? Something like that? Aspirin. That item must be called Aspirin. That's what that is. Right, I would like to replace Dead Sea Scrolls, although I do like the visual effect of Mom's bra on top of my head. Makes me a little, a little happier about our circumstances. Man. Too many superhero thoughts running through my head at this point. There's no way I can escape that train of thought now. That is going to dominate our conversation. Book of Secrets. Do I keep this over Dead Sea Scrolls? That would be an interesting pickup. I want to use it, obviously, and that's our double... Oh, okay, so we did get both of our item rooms already, too. That's sort of a bummer. It means that nothing we got here is entirely great. Virgo is not making me too excited, so... Alright! Off we go, then. We got a homing bomb. And this is gonna be a long, long Chubbs fat. Chubbs dislikes smoke. It's true. Walked our dog Chubbs by a barbecue the other day. He did not enjoy it. That's just the fact. Oh, wow! Okay, that thing is strong, actually. That... Circle of Black Ash. Yeah, that is... That is nice. So it's sort of like an ext... What are these rooms? My god! <laughs> the variety and... Terrifying nature of boss fight rooms that I've seen thus far makes me think that maybe this was a recent change. That I was not privy to. All the same, I guess this is going okay. Of all the rooms to fight Gertie in, maybe this really isn't the worst one. And it is a champion version that sort of works well to keep him locked down right here, too. Now that you have to do much to keep Gertie locked down. Har, har, har. Because he sits still. That's what it is. There's the observational humor. Come on down, buddy. Just weaning you off your life bar, as it were. 
slowly but surely. This this really is pretty boring, actually. <laughs> we got a, got a little bit of excitement out of the layout before we started, but yeah, that I got, I got kind of dull. All right, Dunzo, what do you got? No deal with the devil, unfortunately. Speed up is okay, I guess. We're already pretty fast. And in doing so, we're actually uh, pretty much on pace for a boss rush here. In fact, we're well ahead of pace for a boss rush. Yeah, this is looking like an extremely likely thing. That is a nice golden key as well. Okay, hoping for a bunch of gold chest drops. I'm probably going to have to make some big plays here pretty soon. This is looking like... Well, first of all, I need to make sure I don't take any a bunch of stupid hits here because I don't really love my health status. I also have to consider that we're only getting to Mom's heart, so I don't necessarily need to be that strong. I just need to be competently strong. Which is not a status that I'd prefer to hold. <laughs> Entering our strongman competition for the 13th year in a row, it's Bear Taffy! Who judges have often described as competently strong. Yes, even though he stands no chance of actually competing for a podium placement, Bear Taffy has been a meticulous competitor through the course of our event. With what one might describe as both competent strength and a competent understanding of what these competitions are actually about. You see him here eating a burrito on stage, blissfully unaware of what's actually going on. Pop a fly! Hey, alright. That's not bad. Really, we're getting pretty, uh... Pretty, pretty icky stuff, I guess I would say. If I'm, if I'm going back to what I was mentioning before, where at heart I'm really just a big stupid kid. Then, this run is icky doo doo poo poo caca. Yuck, yuck, where's my blankie? I want nap nap. Oh boy, okay, here we go. We do have at least the, uh, sort of weird combo of... Virgo and... Uh, nail inside of a screw. I still don't remember what that item is called, so <laughs> I'm gonna keep trying. Some will stick better than others, I think. Oh boy, that's bad. Okay. That does damage a lot, though, so... If I can use it effectively, at least we have that sort of failsafe J-I-C in a lot of these circumstances. I want to save the Dead Sea Scrolls for this fight. I assume we're just going to hop right in here. The item room was not extremely pleasing with the pop of fly. But then we go for Brownie. What do we get? What do we get? We got a little bit of damage up. Okay, so that's not bad. That I can accept. I just really don't want to get hit in here. I'd, I'd prefer to keep just about as much health as I can moving forward. So nice and easy. Stay very far away. We got some range up with Mr. Dolly, but sadly it's not too much. Okay, my god, that thing is strong. Wow. That's maybe worth it. Let's hold off. Krampus! Alright. I would like to use a bomb here, but I'd also like to hit Krampus with that bomb, and that's gonna do it. Nice! That was very good. Okay. Fortunately, don't have the extra damage here. Krampus could... Hurt. What would I lo like to get out of this? Head of Krampus really might be okay. That would help us out a lot with the, uh, with the mom's heart fight. And yeah, I think I'm gonna take it. Lover's card does nothing for me. Two of hearts does even less. Or does it do less? Hold on a second. Does two of hearts... I seriously doubt it does what I am hypothesizing it does in my head. I also did take experimental treatment for the hell of it. Uh, let's go ahead and go. Oh, I should have kept exploring, though. We had that golden key. That was sort of silly. I'm, I'm on pace for boss rush here, and I'd really like to keep it, but we don't really need to rush that much, now that I think about it. Oh, here we go. And there we go. Yep. Immediately back out. Good. But that's a lot of health. Okay, that is nice. That alone is pretty damn good. But these apparently... Okay, well, first, first stage, I guess, isn't going to be nothing. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate you taking that 75% health handicap before we even started the fight. That was really considerate of you. Very good. Okay, thanks. Could that just be the whole room? No. Alright, well... Can't always get so lucky. Hanging on to that Krampus' head proc. Really want to save that for the mom fight. I think, yeah, we've got... Ooh, damn, the eternal heart. Okay. That, I believe, doesn't really do anything. Yeah, that's probably going to turn into a spirit heart. Let's go ahead and check this. Nothing. That's a bummer. Alright, keep moseying around. Plenty of time, still over six and a half minutes. 
Under six and a half minutes. I know time. I know how to measure it. I just watched Interstellar, man. I know how things work. I know how inter interdimensional travel is meant to be perceived. And I won't tell you. Because that's the plot of the film. Is it? No, I don't think it is. I have no idea. <laughs> Truth be told, I just watched it and I'm still not really sure, so... There you go. There's my review of Interstellar. I just watched it. I'm still not sure what it is. But go into it and watch it in the blind eye I took into my viewing experience. And by golly, I'm sure you'll have a hell of a time. Matthew McConaughey does have a problem with speaking like this, though. You can't really understand them, but just sometimes the things he says is so deep that he doesn't want to muster up the strength to strain his vocal cords. You never know when. You might have to say something even deeper. You gotta be ready. That doesn't really sound like Matthew McConaughey at all, does it? But <laughs> the general idea, the general idea is there. And I think that's how people get away with impressions these days. It's just forcing words into the mouth of the person that they're trying to mimic loosely. Oh boy, I don't like this room either, my god. Teratomas give me problems, man. I don't know what it is, I cannot just... do exactly what I'm doing right now. I, I think the bigger room is giving me a hand with it this time, but... I swear to god, I... I get the worst sort of maneuvering... into my fingertips. When they show up. Let's go check that! Sad bombs, ooh! Not bad, that'll be helpful. Hang on to that battery. I think we're just gonna bail on this whole thing. We've got one key and six cents, so we're probably not going for any shops here. My damage is not exciting me. We're probably gonna need a little bit more help than this. But I don't know where we're gonna get it from. It's probably gonna be in the boss rush, actually. Ooh, this is making me wonder. I should probably hang on to my Krampus' head charge for the boss rush, right? That seems reasonable. No spirit hearts there, unfortunately. I do have sad bombs, too. Let me, uh... Well, now that we got this golden key, let me go ahead and check this shop. Check this shop, check this as well, just in case. That's a full reroll! <laughs> Absolutely. Spun! There we go, what do we get here? We got ourselves... That, uh, dunce cap. Oh my god, okay, so we we are looking like this now. Oh boy, that makes things interesting. Wow. Uh, intensifying shot, piggy bank, ball of tar, PhD, that looks like sin or, uh, speedball, probably. And we got, oh, I thought we got Isaac's heart, but we actually got child's heart. Okay, that's way better. And that's fine, too. Relax. Just gonna put a bunch of poops everywhere. Doesn't really help too much. Okay, well, oh, we also got Dark Bum. Wow, that's really good. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's a significant improvement. I probably should have noted that. Let me blow this up first. No sad bombs anymore, unfortunately. Bombs are key is not really great, so let's just drop that. The one re-rolls everything, by the way. So I, I do want to go back and make sure that I am not going to leave behind a few extra goodies. I think I'm right about that. Or maybe, no, maybe it's the other way around. One or six. Either the one with one pip or the one with six pips. One of those two re-rolls, like, literally everything. I think it might be six. Now that I'm going around like this. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was six. Also lost Krampus' head, unfortunately. Damn. Not a terrific re-roll. Honestly, I, I don't know if I'd do it again, knowing what I know now. This is gonna do nothing for me, right? And golden keys are not transferable to this guy. I could use bombs or key and try to get something out of that dude, but that might not be worth it. I say we just go do boss rush instead. Yeah, that seems better. Okay, so, with this being the case, Red Mom is unfortunately like the worst thing I could see. This is just gonna take forever. Oh, jeez, yeah. This sucks. <laughs> this totally blows. There's not really a way of hitting her with both streams of tear, so... Unless she happens to just open up one of these doors here, I'm probably just gonna have to take the slow way to do this. And she didn't drop down at all for that, wow. 
Oh, this is gonna be tough. Okay, I'm gonna try to predict a couple of bombs here. Because that's gonna be the only way I think I make the boss rush at all. This is already taking a while. Okay, let's try this one. Nope, that didn't work. Ah, I hit myself! That was brilliant! Okay! Well played, buddy! Uh, let's try this. There we go. Okay, got a little bit of damage there. I think I can do this still. Oh my god, just run face first into him, please. Please, buddy, help me out. Just talking to myself here, just talking to myself. We're good. I gotta be- I gotta be fast. I gotta hit with, like, everything here. 90 seconds to go. About a quarter of her life bar, I'd say. I think we'll make it. I probably would have made it pretty easily if I had just not panicked and stopped trying to do stupid stuff, but... I thought we were a little bit weaker than we are, it turns out. We should be okay. I hit that eye a bunch of times, that worked out really well. Okay, that was probably the boost I needed. Nah, we're good. We're fine, easily. Easily, we got it. Grab me that. Bunch of health. Let's go. Gotta go for it, but depends on what we get here. Hmm. Isaac's Tears, Harlequin Baby, oh god, okay. Well... Man! <laughs> this... This sorta of sucks. I guess I'm taking Taurus. This is Taurus, right? I think this is Taurus. Yeah, this is Taurus, alright. Yeah, Taurus is okay for this. I do not love it, but... I will take it. I think it will charge multiple times. That's sort of what I'm banking on. Is that I'll be able to get multiple Taurus charges out of this. Rage is building. Do I think this is a different thing? I'm pretty sure Taurus is the one that makes me invincible after a time. Ares is ramming speed. That's the one that allows you to deal damage to enemies by running into them. And I often confuse those two. But I don't believe I'm doing that this time. Well, doesn't appear that it is going to activate, unfortunately. So maybe... Oh boy, this, this, this might be a long one. I remember I got those intensifying tears though, so if I can manage to actually continually hit stuff. Wow, that was effective. Thank you, Monstro 2, for that additional damage. Okay, here we go. Just get it right up in the face of the enemy, and then I can hit him with both streams. That is obviously easier said than done, unless I am invincible, which, in which case, it's very easy to do. I like that. Let's keep that going. Right here. Measure up in the corner, Monstro 2. How do you fare? Probably still pretty well. Okay. We got a lot of health. We're gonna have red heart spawns, apparently, for things. So... I mean, worst case scenario, I'm here for 25 minutes. And I get a bunch of points as a result. Or I die. <laughs> worst case scenario, I die in here after 25 minutes. Let's... Let's not assume that's gonna happen, though. I'm sort of getting used to the... Diagonal shot, at least. I'm hoping I can sort of use that to my advantage. Oh, against Carrion Queen, though. Okay, this is gonna be a problem. Probably gonna have to use some bombs against her. How much damage do I need to do? I've got eight bombs. Can easily afford to spend a couple on her. She's getting taken down pretty quick, though. I might be able to do this without too much more help. It's easier to hit her with the diagonal shots, that's for damn sure. Makes Carrying Queen a little bit more manageable. Couple little hearts to kill. Blast assist. It's gonna be a long one. It's gonna be a long one. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm settling in. For the war of attrition here that... is ultimately being battled by crying and jumping. Warriors of crying and jumping, hear my plea! The boss rush beckons thee. We know you've been competing in strength conditioning competitions before. This is something much more challenging. We're going to need you to just burst continuously into tears until your enemies fall. Can you do that? Yes, I believe my competencies training extends even to <laughs> expelling tears upon my foes. What am I talking about? 
We're just killing time in boss rush. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. This is how it has to be. Although I'm not in love with how much health I have anymore. I'm starting to get a little worried about that. Let's let's be smarter. He should still be dropping health for us. Every so often. By he, I mean they. Ooh, this is bad. Okay. Keep that invincibility. I should take advantage of that as much as I can. That's That's... Probably my best quality at the moment is that Virgo stuff. Go get that red heart, bud. Without Dark Bomb, we would be dead. That's that's an almost certainty. Come on, buddy. Go on up there now. I still believe in this, though. Believe this can go the distance. I need to understand the intensifying tears better. That's... Oh, that's cool. <laughs> I forgot about that. That's so neat. That's something that I don't uh, quite have a full understanding of, is how to effectively utilize the intensifying tears. I don't know whether to, like, continually fire in a certain direction. I, I thought this may still be right and I'm just not doing it or doing well, but I thought it was whenever you consecutively hit an enemy with your tears, they will speed up. Is that the case? Because I feel like we've been sort of just shooting around randomly at some points in this boss rush, and the tears were intensifying that way, which doesn't make any sense to me. Alright, stay on down there now. Oh, this is nice. Okay, so yeah, exactly that. That gives fuel to my idea when we are doing that exact thing right here. Yeah, I think that is what it is, actually, and I've just been... I've just been silly. Because if we can keep the intensity up by continually hitting enemies like this... Oh my god, it would be so much better if I didn't have this damn diagonal shot now that I think I've pinned it down. Alright, here we go. Here we go, here we go. This is one of the more intense boss rushes I've had, but I'm also pretty confident about it. I think we will eventually win. It's just a matter of when we win. Ha 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 ha. Come on, buddy. There we go. A little bit more over here. We're probably not even halfway done, which is the depressing part. <laughs> this is... Oh, this is a trip. Yep. I right, gotta take him out first. Come on. Come on. Go down. There we go. And if I really want to risk things here... Yeah, exactly. I can just... Bam. Right up in his face. There we go. Let's sped things up a little. I shouldn't be f too afraid of that, honestly. I think I need to take a few more chances. With the damage I'm doing. This is gonna be nice, too. I could actually just leave him to... ...kill his friend like that. Bam, bam, bam! Oh, God! Yep, that'll do. That'll do. Keep up the intensifying tears. No reason to stop here. It's sorta gonna work. There we go. Careful with this. You gotta kind of keep your distance from this guy, too. Unfortunately. There we go. Lock it in. Lock it in. Relax for fun! Totally got myself caught up against the wall. <laughs> oh, very good, very good. Alright. A little, little bit more... ...reticence here. Just be calm. Just be cautious. We're not gonna give it up now. I want those 5,000 bonus points, damn it. It may have taken me 18 minutes to do it, but I'm getting those points. Ow. Piece of garbage. Somehow we're up to 60 cents. I guess that's just the piggy bank taking effect. Have we been, have we been gaining points from that? That's not possible, right? I think we were above 10,000 at some point. Yeah, we're taking points, or yeah, we're removing points every time we take damage, so there's no way. There's absolutely no way that's happening. It is nice, though, at least... At least we have the benefit of gaining health. Or not, not gaining health, but, uh... Gaining a few points back whenever we take damage. Better than nothing. Because I think I, I can assume that I'm gonna take a few points of damage going through this boss rush here, so it is... It is good to have that trade-off, at least. This champion bloat is a little bit of a problem causer. There we go, there we go, nice. Black heart down there too, good. Tears up, oh, good shots, good start. 
My god. Man. Seriously, this, this is such an investment. I wonder what other people's reroll experiences were like. I hope some people got something stronger than this, but I am also still wondering... There's no way that the reroll would give the exact same reroll to everybody, right? That couldn't happen. Or if it did happen, that would be a little silly. If that were by design, I, I, I don't know if I'd be a fan of that. Let's go ahead and stick here until this guy gets taken down. And it seems the intensifying tears also don't go away right away, which is nice. Something like Deadeye, I think, for example, would uh, only work if you were able to keep up the perpetual fire. Oh boy, I am really low on health. Wow, there it is. Oh my god, that was that was intense. Okay, shit. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed half of this video being the boss rush. <laughs> There's the eternal heart. All right, that quells my expectations of that too. Very good. Now I see the problem inherent with my tears. This is a lot slower than I initially suspected. And there's Taurus, finally! Forgot about that! Hey, remember? Remember that item we picked up? Yeah, me neither. That's gonna be really nice. That... ...swages my concerns as well. Alright, Taurus carry. Taurus carry, FTW. Make it happen. I don't want to shoot no more, just let me do this! Yeah, let me run around like a fucking idiot! Woo! That's my cup of tea. That is my cup of herbal tea right there. Delish. Mom's heart. Mom's heart for this one. No, uh... No hush fight happening for me, I would wager. Slight bit of a bummer. We can go to this library, I guess, is what this is gonna be. I was gonna say a shop, and I got really excited because of all the money we have, but sadly, probably not gonna happen. Yep. Yep, indeed. Book of Shadows might even be better, honestly, because I've got Dark Bum, so yeah, I'm gonna take this. Temporary invincibility gives me the ability to just jump in and barrage whatever boss this ends up being with the double tiers. Death. Death is no match. For my dunce cap. Death itself fears my cone on my head. Oh, well, there goes that. Okay. This should not be a problem. I think he's gonna die. Nice. Ball of bandages, okay. That was pretty quick. We're good. Got through it in one piece. Pretty sure Book of, Sh Book of Shadows is going to, uh... Effectively seal the deal on this run. I love this change to the womb, whatever this one is called, that I totally forgot right away. The sacred womb. The sacred, the scarred. That's, that's how you read words. The scarred womb is quite nice. Also, I just realized the synergy we just got from the Book of Shadows and the Cube of Meat, aka Ball of Bandages, that is really nice as well. Ooh, buddy, I am excited now. This fight should not go too long, although I am concerned about my health now. Oh yes, oh yes, that is a... That's a real problem. Alright, we're gonna need to find some red hearts. Oh shit! Yep, that's a Book of Shadows. That is absolutely a Book of Shadows room. Thank you very much. Did not want to deal with that. I've got three keys and no reason to hang on to them. Let's try it. Wow, thank you. Thank you for the penny. Thank you for the key and the penny, at least. You feel some remorse for your actions. I can tell that much. Right, we're gonna hold off for Taurus in this room, probably just shoot shots around willy-nilly. I do have to play safe now, I'm not about to lose this run. Not now. Or ever, for that matter. Just keep on passing through. Take things one room at a time. Play it smart, play it cool, keep it together, shoot both of those at once like a frickin' badass, yeah! We can use Book of Shadows, in fact, I might as well use it in here, there's no reason not to. Temperance. Not helpful. Oh, I could've used the- ah, oh, Book of the- pfft, damn it. <laughs> Book of Shadows Temperance Synergy Bear, you probably should've taken advantage of that one, whoops-a-doozle! That's what we say when 
when we make a silly mistake, we say whoops a doozle because we are, again, as I've noted, just big children. This room might kill me, which is why I am staying far away from the things that might kill me in this room. There we go. Grab bag contains nothing helpful. Temperance? All right, couldn't get that lucky. Don't kill me, oh my god. Do I dare? I might as well. Oh, oh! Yep, all right. <laughs> Ooh boy, uh, all I gotta do is make it. All I gotta do is make it there. And activate my book. Please let me live. Just nice and slow. Room by room, there's a red heart. Help me out, buddy. Oh, I need a little bit more, don't I? Fuck this. Nope. Yeah, not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. I've got a battery somewhere. I do not intend to die there. Oh my god. Okay, acid poop room right here. I believe it's the next one. Okay. Good. Ooh. Don't die to those. Don't die to those. I'm gonna check this room. It's a, it's a silly idea. In fact, hold on. No, that's bad. Oh shoot. Oh boy. Well, I can Cuba meet something if it sits in there. I can also apparently shoot through these, so all my problems are over. <laughs> okay, good. That solves the problem. Die! And another penny. Okay. Gotta remember this. If I can just stay alive for long enough... I should also check for secret rooms here, too. If I can stay alive long enough in a room, I can cheese it into Taurus. But that doesn't necessarily guarantee that I emerge victorious. It is simply a risk. Oh, I gotta check for these. Gotta check for these. Come on, Blackheart. Or a Temperance card. If I could get it again, I would be happy. Hermit again. Oh, jeez. Shoot. Well, that's, uh, that's an escape, at least. Not useless. It, it provides me a way to uh, get away from certain death if I happen to see it. Somehow these are spectral tears, it seems like. Not really sure how that's happening. Alright, don't kill me. Come on, buddy. Oh, God. Take it easy. There we are. Got my book. I'm gonna take this cool. Keep calm and together. Not get shot. Wait for Taurus. Wait for Taurus. There it is. This is the boss. Okay. I do not have health. I have not bombed for the secret room, but I think I'm going to go for it. Here we go. Book of Shadows. Kill those things instantly. Damn it. Oh, I didn't skip this phase. That sucks. All right. Keep an eye on the book. It's all. It's gone. It's gone. All right. Nice. I might get her with this. Ah, I was too scared. I was too scared to do it. Shoot. Please tell me I can kill her. She oh, there's the there's the laser. God, no. Oh, man. Oh, that was close. I got too scared. I was too scared to risk everything. But why not risk everything if the outcome won't change? I learned that from One Punch Man, too. Nice. Nice references. All right. 1,311th place. There's the uh, overall, there's the global, there's my friends list right there. Mad Zion, the Glaffy Taffy up there too. I did pretty good, all things considered, I guess. Quite a few people died on that one, but I could have taken it all the way. That's, that's stupid of me. All right. Thanks for watching this episode of the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Daily Challenge. Hope you guys enjoyed it and leave a like if you did. Appreciate that a lot. See you next time.